everyone. My name is Jim Ivan. I'm from CY Cabinet Painters. Today we are going to talk about something that happens every job, uh, every job that contains more than one gallon of paint. Um, it's for color consistency through the gallons. Now, as you may or may not know, uh, the paint store has a machine that dispenses colorants into the cans. And so your paint guy will say, okay, you want St. George white? He types that in, he makes a gallon. Then he gets another gallon and he types in St. George white and he makes another gallon. And he goes through that for as many gallons as you need. In this case, we needed three gallons. Now, if you mix enough paint or you buy enough paint, Eventually, what's going to happen is you'll get two gallons that are consistent uh, with St. George White, and the third one might get an extra drop of red, or an extra drop of black, or less than an extra drop of black. It'll stick in the machine, and you'll have no way of knowing that until you get to the position where you've used two gallons to paint the fronts and the backs of the doors, and then you go to paint the bases of your cabinets and you use that third gallon. And when you bring the doors to the job, the doors don't match the base. And believe it or not, it has happened to me. Um, and so what you need to do to avoid that situation, because as you can imagine, it is a uh, pesky. You need to box your paint. And all that means, that's a term that painters use, uh, putting all the paint into a box and mixing it together and then disseminating out through the three gallons. Or in this case, Malazy comes in liters, so it's five liters per gallon, which is about a gallon and a quarter. Be that as it may, I'm gonna show you how I box the paint. And this happens every single job. So the first thing you need is a clean bucket. And in this shop, clean buckets are hard to come by, so I have a special one up on a shelf. Box paint only. To make sure it's cleaned out and nice for the next job. So what you're going to want is you're going to want a pair of gloves because you're going to be digging deep into the gallons. You want to get every get every drop out. You need something to get the paint out of the gallon. Uh, I use a spatula, just a regular old kitchen spatula. Look at me, looking for gloves here. Regular old kitchen spatula. Yeah, it's a straight on one side, curved on the other. And I just start with the first gallon. Now, I put the cans and the caps. Now, uh, let's see, open this thing up. Man, this, this polyurethane really has a sticky cap, especially if. St. George White might have only one drop of black in it to set it off as different than, um, you know, regular white. And if that's the case, oh man, these are on tight today. There we go. If that's the case and two drops fall into one of these cans, you can't really see it by eye. But let me tell you, you'd notice it if the bases were painted with one can and the doors were painted with another. And so we're going to avoid that 
by uh, boxing the paint. Now these tops are nice and dry. If this was a dark color, you might see some colorant up in here. And I would try and get that off. I would try and scrape it down. And even, even just like this, I'm throwing these lids into the sink because I'm gonna give them a, a good washing. But just to make sure that there's no color on top and I get a real consistent, even color. Now, I'm just gonna do this one with you guys watching from that side. But, I mean, it's just like scraping out a pan. You know, you wanna use your spatula to get as much out as you possibly can. job that's why I've got the gloves now for the last can I'll probably bring you over here so you see what's going on in the can and I scrape out every last drop I can and it goes right in to the bucket okay I want as little remaining, you know, because maybe the paint store didn't make this long enough and the colorant only reached to about here, you know, and so that bottom was still regular white. And that's the first one. Uh, I'm going to get this second one. This one has a little bit of splattered paint up on it. I'm just going to scrape that off. Right into the sink. This is gallon two. last one Pretty good. All right, so now we're on to uh, the second part of this boxing of the paint. And what you need to do is clean the cans. Yeah, believe it or not, you have to clean out the cans because you never know if there's a unmixed little bit of colorant inside your can. So what I do, I start with the old lids, and I'm just going to clean them with hot water, no soap in there.
So you'd think that you'd just be able to pour it right in to the gallons, but that is not the case. You need to dry it out because, believe it or not, the water that's in here, the tap water, can contaminate the paint. And so what will happen is you'd be spraying along, it'd be a perfectly good surface, and then as it dries, it would separate into all these little uh, micro bubbles or fish eyes or be inconsistency. You have to sand it out, try again. And so you'd basically be uh, contaminating the paint with, you know, either chlorinated water or something like that. You know? So your best bet is to dry these out as best you can. Nice and dry. Same with the caps. You don't want any contamination. No contamination. Right. right up in there. Now, there's you know, many ways to skin this cap. Just like there is in every job, there's more than one way to do it. But this is the way I do it. And so now, uh, you know, I poured the, four, the three gallons in, which if you look at the five gallon bucket, it's more like four gallons. It's actually, each one of these is uh, a gallon and a, co a quart. So we got three gallons and three quarts in here, which is almost four gallons. And I'm just gonna make sure this is all mixed in together. And get a really consistent paint here. sure we're lined up here so you can see me pour. Yep, we're good. And now, I'm just going to pour it in. Let me make sure like this. Gets me spill a little bit. So, we're just going to go right to the rim there. One. Two. at it with a spatula. No inconsistencies. This is where you really want your gloves, right? Because you're going to get some on your arms. And I'm just going for every bit I can. This stuff is not cheap. Consistency to the gallons for sure. Of course, my last step, my last step is to clean the bucket for next time. Put these cans back together. Lock the lid on. This lid on. Right. And the last one. Right. And we're going to clean this bucket over here.
I don't really care about the outside of the bucket. What I care about is the inside, where that next color is going to go. That next gallon paint, you know, it'd be perfect. As good as I can get it. So that's it, right? Nice and clean. And all I'm going to do is slide it back up on that shelf for next time. And that's it. That's out of box paint.